Hi friends, this is Saran. As a part of uh, CCA 131 playlist, um, I have already created uh, uh, up to install Cloudera Manager server and then agents. So now let's see how to install CDH components uh, using Cloudera Manager. So for that, I have already provisioned uh, additional three different servers with the same instance type m4.xlarge. So each one is having nearly around uh, um, four uh, CPU cores and then 16 GB RAM. Now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to simply add these machines uh, into the Cloudera manager. So now here, let me use admin and admin. Never. And uh, if you want, you can go ahead and uh, change the password. So right now I'm going to change the password. All right, so the password got changed. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and log out then uh, once again using admin and the password yeah so now uh, it, this will be the initial page you'll be getting and uh, after going through the license conditions hit yes I accept the end user license terms and conditions click continue and uh, this is how you will get. Um, so what type of edition you would like to install. Cloudera Express is the free edition. And this is a enterprise trial version. We have up to 60 days. So I'm going to click on this uh, enterprise trial edition and then click continue. And these are all the components you will be uh, installed. And here you need to put the uh, machines IP address so I'm going to copy this and paste it one by one oh it was not copied and uh, I'm going to add all the four machines. The last one. Um, yeah, here there is a problem. Like whenever you reboot the machine, right? Uh, there may be a chance of getting ch the IP address getting changed. So to be on a safer side, I'm going to uh, copy this public DNS instead of IP address I'm going to add this uh, public uh, DNS so this will this will remain uh, static one minute um, the last machine I would like to add it okay so once you put all your machines uh, hit search so all are responding fine so now click continue and here uh, I'm going to use uh, parcels that will automatically download it from the internet and it will install. So uh, uh, apart from this, I'm not going to install any, uh, any other components. So let it be the default options. Click continue and uh, install Oracle Java. Uh, I'm going to click on both these and click continue. 
and uh, click continue so now here is the important part here you need to give the different user which is ec2 hyphen user which is the user account of our uh, uh, Linux machines so the private key I can give uh, like CCA uh, the one which we created initially right so that one I have going to give here uh, that's it click continue and here if you see uh, now the installation will take place it's going to be uh, a fast installation only because uh, all the AWS servers will have a very good internet speed so if you would like to know the details click here and uh, uh, basically it will uh, uh, automatically download the cloud manager related packages first it will install JDK and then uh, J2 SDK all the components so now uh, it is installed uh, it will take some time so what I'm going to do let me pause the recording and uh, I'll be back so now uh, all the installation got successful so I'm going to click continue so now what it will do uh, it will automatically uh, download the CDH 5.13 package uh, from the internet and once it, if it is uh, downloaded it will be automatically distributed to all the uh, machines whatever we have entered so we need to wait for some time And uh, definitely it will take some time so what I'm going to do is uh, let me pause the recording and I'll be back uh, once all the uh, installation progress gets over now it's hundred percent downloaded so if you see four four progress bars uh, that is getting distributed to all the other machines with a very good network speed of around uh, 53 MBBS so uh, so these are all the each and every machines uh, IP address and uh, it's automatically getting copied to all the machines and it will be installed so nothing to worry so let's wait for some more time uh, for the installation to get over almost uh, two machines got over remaining two machines it is yet to copy and now if you see almost uh, all the pro progress got completed like uh, all the packages are downloaded distributed unpacked and activated to all the four machines so now we can go ahead and click on continue and it will uh, inspect once again like whatever the components which we have installed is uh, correct or not Okay, so almost all the packages got uh, installed. So you can go ahead and click on finish or uh, it says uh, okay. So the transparent huge page settings that we need to disable, even though we have already done. Um, one minute let me quickly run it on all the machines like echo um, tr set transparent uh, huge page settings uh, 
sudo su hyphen root let me do it on all the other machines as well and uh, almost everything is done so let me go ahead and run again Okay, it's just a warning, so uh, click finish. So now we can go ahead and uh, uh, install this custom services like HDFS. Uh, so in this page, we can choose whatever the components which you would like to install. Um, so initially, what I would like to do is uh, HDFS, Uzi, Zookeeper, Yarn, and uh, uh, Hue. That's all I need at the moment. And uh, install Clouder and Navigator. Okay, it's a licensed one. So this is fine. Uh, HDFS, Hue, Uzi, Yarn, and Zookeeper. So click continue and now we can choose uh, which machine is going to be the uh, master and uh, slave and all this. So here if we see um, okay 176 uh, is the master one. So what I'm going to do is let me change it to 238. And uh, yeah, balancer. So you can split whatever the servers uh, which you would like to uh, get installed. Um, Hive Gateway, Hive Metastore, uh, I would like to change it to a different server. And uh, Hue Server, I would like to change it in uh, 27. So you can just split uh, whatever the resource you would like to change. Uh, if you put all the components in just uh, one server, right? Uh, again, uh, there will be an issue. So, Cloudera Management Service, Activity Monitor. Um, you can put it on this. And Uzi Server, Yarn. Uh, Everything is done. So these are all the uh, roles like a data node uh, and all this. So if you see 176 machine is having a host monitor, reports manager, uh, alert publisher, service monitor, and uh, yarn, all this. So with this, I'm going to, um, I think I have entered all the details. All right, so job history server. Okay. 
so click continue and uh, these are all the default uh, username database and all this so let's not disturb anything and uh, simply give test connection uh, okay almost everything is successful so click continue and uh, let's not uh, edit all this so click continue and now the deployment will take place and uh, it will take some time um, so it will install hdfs yarn hive uzi and q so i'm going to pause the recording and uh, once the installation gets over uh, i will resume it so now if you see all the steps got completed and uh, let me click on continue and it says congratulations services are installed configured and running on your cluster so let me click finish and uh, then you got the service running like it uh, so this is the home page of Cloudera Manager and uh, if you go on to HDFS you can see uh, the HDFS capacity and uh, all the health status then uh, configuration wise you can see uh, commands uh, everything you can see it so we will see one by one and uh, this concludes uh, the installation and configuration of uh, Cloudera Manager, CDH package and agents. So I hope uh, this would be informative to you. And uh, like uh, even we have added a new node, uh, like if you want, to, if you'd like to add a new node, right? Uh, probably we can uh, cover it in the next video. So as of now, install CDH using Cloudera Manager. This one is completed. So I hope uh, everyone would be somewhat benefited from this video. So if you like it, hit a like button and uh, please subscribe it to get to see a lot more videos from this series. And thank you all for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.